loves is April and this is going to be a review for Rosa Hair. They did send me some hair from AliExpress, their AliExpress store, and I'll post their information for you guys below. Of course, I'm going to be making a full wig out of this unit, so I'm going to cram everything into one video like normal. I did get three 20-inch bundles because that is what I requested. Along with that, I do have a 16-inch closure. In case you're wondering about the hair that I'm actually rocking, this is another unit that I created using different AliExpress hair, and there probably is going to be a video if it's already up so the shipping was pretty fast it didn't come with any freebies or goodies like lashes or rollers or even one of those cute little bags that they have nowadays on Aliexpress that I absolutely love I like those a lot because you can store your wigs in them so these are their 20 inch bundles of their hair and from what I've been told and are basically what I've heard their hair is really 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 great quality hair don't mind the wine. You guys already know I love mascara. The AliExpress store is Rosa Hair. I'll post their information below. It's a natural color. And from what I see, I do like the curl pattern. It's not a curly, although I haven't washed it yet, so we have to really see how it comes out. But, yeah, my hands or my fingers are getting a little stuck in the hair, and that's because of the actual texture. It's a very pretty curly or deep wave hair, which will make a really full wig. It's double wefted tracks on these bundles. And as far as the actual bearding on it, it seems to be okay. You do see like little short hairs. They're not too long, so you're not going to be disturbed or they're not going to actually hurt the creation of your wig or your U-part or if you're getting an actual install. The, wet, um, the wefts look very neatly sewn. The coils look really neat. And as for the most part, the hair doesn't look dried out. Um, it is a little dry, but it is only because it's dry. Um, so what a little product like some oil would do with this or argan oil. I always do that once the hair is actually damp. It doesn't have any type of smell to it, so that is, for one, a good thing. And now for the closure. This is actually a silk base closure. I didn't even realize that until I started touching the back of it. So this is one of their silk base closures. I'm not really like a huge fan of silk base closures because to me they're just a little bit thicker and they never lay flat. The silk base actually is really nice though. I will be honest and say that. So that's the reason why the construction or the color is this way. And it probably will match my complexion really well. If not, then of course I'd have to put some concealer. So it is a little bit darker or dark for me, but we'll just see how that goes. 4x4 four four looks kind of bigger than the normal, but the hairs are actually really pretty, and this is also a deep wave. Um, the coils look a little bit different. They look a little bit smaller, so I'm hoping that this actually blends well. But for the most part, when you're pulling the hair apart, it looks just like scalp. Like, this looks amazing. Really well constructed. I will say that. Um, very pretty. It's just, unfortunately, this is not less my color complexion. I probably could get away with it, but this would be for someone that was a darker complexion than me and would be able to actually have a, a little bit darker scalp than I would. So let's begin with the ending of this video. Of course I'm going to show you how I created this unit and if I did any type of processing to it. Okay love, so I'm all done with my curly unit. This is all 20 inches of hair. I didn't trim it. Um, this is the silk base closure. I'm not really a huge fan of it. There was three layers. Once I cut the actual trimming off which was supposed to be cut off one of the layers they kind of separated so i ended up taking it off because to me it made the hair like look extra extra or the the closure really really thick so i went ahead and removed it and it still has two layers as normal it is sewn on a mesh dome cap with the combs that i installed onto them the hair is Okay ladies, so I went ahead and actually hooked up the silk closure by using my concealer. I did have an issue before where the concealer just wouldn't stick to it, but it actually worked a lot better this time. The hair is really, really pretty. It's a lot of hair. It's the full three bundles, 
but it's like gorgeous hair like it's so pretty it's a lot of it and I know you guys are probably like that is a lot of hair you're not used to seeing me with all this much hair out I did like pull it out like pick it out but I really really like it like there's different things that you can do with it I'm just like not a huge fan of any type of like silk closure um, I'm just not but this one actually came out good and it really does look like scalp even though I put some concealer on it it still really does look like scalp this is like a pretty nice natural kind of hair texture it's like gorgeous deep wave hair I will give their company the credit that is due they do have some really pretty hair I'm just like not a huge fan of the closure but I will get used to wearing it reminds me of like Diana Ross hair or basically Shaka Khan hair it's a lot of hair but a lot of ladies who are natural and love big wild hair like this this is actually the thing the in thing and if it wasn't so hot, I would really rock it just like this. The hair texture is not so silky. It's kind of in between silky and like kinky to me. Not so kinky where it's like unmanageable, but not so silky to where it's not going to get full. But it's in between. I don't think it's going to puff up and you're going to walk around like a poodle. I don't think that's going to happen. But the hair texture is really pretty. I did put a few products on it, which is by Organics. Um, their curling cream, which is a leave-in cream or a rinse out and I did put that on it and it just gave it this luster and it also gave it like a really nice softness with this much hair I can do like loads of different hairstyles with this and that's one thing that I do like about it it's very versatile it's not silky smooth to wear it's just laying flat and you have to like give it body this one is automatic body as it is Okay ladies, so I had to come back and put this blurb in this video for Rosa Hair on Ally Express. And the reason for that is because I am not a diehard fan for curly hair. I like curly hair, but I'm not like a huge diehard fan. Meaning, I won't wear it as much as I'll wear like a body wave or straight. Only because it's just high maintenance hair. But I have been wearing this hair two weeks prior to this video going up. And I will tell you guys, I wear it every day and I absolutely love the hell out of this hair. Um... At first, I was not a huge fan of the silk base closure, but let me tell you something. I don't know if I'm bougie now, but I really, really am, like, all about the silk base closure life. Like, it is now my new thing. It blends in so seamlessly with my own natural hairline, which is a little tiny little bit part that I left out. Um, once I got the tweaking to the actual silk base closure, meaning I took my little concealer and my little concealer brush and I did place it on the closure. It didn't harm the hair, it didn't harm the fabric, it just, it's right there. So even though it was darker, too dark for my complexion, I tweaked it to where it works perfectly. So with other issues that I had with a silk base closure, I tried to dye them before uh, basically using tea and it never worked out for me. So that was like the huge problem I had with it. So with this one, I'm like feeling the heck out of this hair. Like, of course it tangles a tiny bit in the nape area, but I don't wet this hair every day. Um, I went like five days without wetting it. I just take it off and just put it on my mannequin head and then I'm good. I do braid it every day because it is super duper, like extremely hot out here in Arizona right now. Like 115 degrees. So I love wearing wigs, but sometimes in the heat, it's just like I can't. I just really, really can't, especially with the hair in my face. So I try to find alternative routes or routes to just work around staying, um, uh, just work around having long hair. So this one here has been like the best route for me with this hair. So all I do is just basically braid it, corn braid it down every day. Um, I do take it right here and I braid it down alongside the perimeter and then here. So I do have a video for that which is on my channel. Um, or if it's not up by now, it will be, but I will tell you, I had to put this blurb in this video to the guys let you know that this hair is like some really, really beautiful hair. The curls are like beautiful. It doesn't get ratty at the ends. Um, like I said, I just take it off at night. The first time I did put some product in it when I washed, I had like this curling cream. It was like so beautiful and it still is. So sometimes I'll spritz a little bit of water on it once in a blue. I've done it once after wearing it five days. And then I'll use like this little curling cream and it's just perfect in the morning. So I don't have to like go and wash the entire unit. So um, I just had to mention that. Um, yeah, silk base closures, I'm about that life right about now. 
But yeah, check their AliExpress or AliExpress store out. I will post all the information below for Rosa Hair. This is like by far one of the best hairs that I have been reviewed for on AliExpress. And there are many that I have reviewed and there are many that I really, really am impressed with. The information will be posted for you guys below. And of course, I'll be back with an update. I just thought you guys would like to know how I felt about this hair. And I've been rocking it ever since. And yeah, see you guys soon. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and this I'll see you on my next video. Baby.